Hello, this is Art Alerts, and I'm David the Collector. I've got a really exciting art unboxing for you today. Today we are unboxing a work by Christofferson. Christofferson runs vacancy projects, and this is a little preview of what we're opening first. It's a drawing. He does a series called Spoonie Sleeps on Sculptures. This is the second book, so let's first flip through the book. It's got a Gucci main quote. I can't even sleep, I got so much to say. Fuck the feds, fuck the police, fuck the DEA. <laughs> so, a lot of Christofferson's work is kind of tongue in cheek. It's a little bit silly. I love all of these spoony sleeping on sculptures, pieces. Some of them you might even recognize if you recognize any of the works. Shout it out in the comments. This is one of my favorites. Otero. This is Kara Walker. The Brillo Soap Pads by Andy Warhol. Chris Burden. Damien Hurst. So I have two pieces here. Um, let's open up the drawing first and then we'll come back for the one that's framed. I thought this drawing was really cool because it's a sculpture on one of my favorite artists' work. Super iconic and recognizable. I was able to buy these out of the studio from Christofferson after I did an interview with him. It was super nice to offer me these pieces. And I heard, uh, a bunch of spoony paintings are gonna be in an upcoming show, so stay tuned for that. When you go to the studio, sometimes you get some sneak, sneak peek news, which I always think is fun. Christofferson does a lot of other work where he references pop culture, scenes out of movies, um, and recognizable moments. But here is the the drawing, it's from 2021, and it's Spoonie sleeping on a Soriyama sculpture. I really, really love this drawing. I think it's super cool. So besides the pop culture moments, um, Christofferson also tends to do a lot of portrait work. So the next piece I'm gonna open sort of leans closer to the portrait work. Um, I thought this piece was really great. I love that it was already framed. Um, when I first heard of Christofferson, I saw him in a show at Franchise. Um, and then I sort of got to visit him at his studio when he had an open studio. And I was super excited by this piece. I thought it was really fun. A great sort of little portrait. I really liked that it was already framed again so I can put it right up. Um, and I think he crushed these works. So thank you so much, Christofferson, for letting me do an interview at the studio that's either out or will come out soon, depending on the order of things. And thank you for offering me these works. Um, I'm super happy to collect some of your portrait work. These portraits sort of remind me of Soriyama, so it kind of ties into uh, the other piece that I have by him, um, given Soriyama does sort of sexy portraits somewhat similar to this. Um, a fun fact about Christofferson is his license plate is Larry David. Um, so if you ever see Larry David on a license plate, you know whose car it is now. Um, and yeah, I think he does a really, really good job with all of his work. It's so detailed. These are more colored pencil pieces, but he also does paintings and other types of drawings uh, and has a bunch of merch through Vacancy Projects that you should check out. So follow Vacancy Projects, follow Christofferson. Um, thanks for letting me do the studio visit and thanks for watching the unboxing. This has been Art Alerts, I'm David the Collector. Have a good one.